early first three years of life is most crucial for brain development and later on it impairs the physical growth and skeletal maturation. Sporadic growth horm uh, thyroid hormone deficiency um, is the most common preventable cause of mental retardation in childhood, the incidence being 1 in 3000 to 1 in 4000. And in India, various studies have shown that it has a higher incidence of almost close to um, 2500. Genital hypothyroidism, in the majority of cases, 75% cases, is due to maldevelopment of the thyroid gland, which means that it's not developed properly. It may not be developed at all, which is a genesis, or it may not be developed properly. So it could be hypoplastic, or it may be in a wrong place, which we call ectopic. So this is a major cause of thyroid problems in, um, in congenital hypothyroidism. The other cause, which is in 10 to 30 percent cases, we say is dyshormonogenesis, which means that the thyroid hormone is not synthesized properly. There is an error in the synthesis of the thyroid hormone. And in a smaller percentage of cases, it is due to a hypothalamic or pituitary disease, which is 1 in 60,000 or 1 in 100,000 cases. We must remember that another important cause of adult hypothyroidism is iodine deficiency. So in iodine deficient areas, it is endemic. So we have to give children an iodine sufficient diet to prevent this. The other cause that we see is transient hypothyroidism, which over a period of few months to years, it resolves and we do not have to medicate these children further. Now, the most crucial thing is to detect this congenital hypothyroidism because in less than <clears throat> 5 to 10 percent of cases, um, we do not see any clinical signs in children who are born hypothyroid. So it is only in around 30 percent that we detect it after three months of life. So it is clinically not really detectable at birth, it takes of suspicion to detect hypothyroidism without blood tests in the first few days of life. Children, when they are born in infancy, um, they are hypothyroid babies, are large, only large for date. They will suffer from constipation, lethargy, prolonged physiological jaundice. Um, they can have a distended abdomen with umbilical hernia um, and a horse cry and all these together raise the suspicion of congenital hypothyroidism. We also notice that children have, are, have, are irritable and they have a shrill cry which stops midway. So we call it the forget to cry syndrome. Um, later on they develop pallor. They could have, be very lethargic with very poor feeling and have a distended um, abdomen with umbilical hernia. And these are the other features that raise the suspicion of congenital hypothyroidism. And of course, later in life, there are delayed milestones and intellectual impairment, and then it is too late for detection by them. So early diagnosis is crucial, and we need to reconfirm. So normally we do the bloods at 72 hours of age, and after that reconfirm if the TSH is high, and if both these together are high, we would treat the child with thyroxine, which is a thyroid hormone. Ideally, this should be done within the first three weeks of life to prevent mental retardation. And long-term studies have shown that 10, at 10 years of age, these children have normal IQ and cognitive function if medication is started soon after birth. So thyroid imaging is also done after diagnosis and ultrasound scan helps uh, detect thyroid gland if it is present or absent. And if it is absent, then it could be dyshormonogenesis, which means the thyroid hormone is not working properly, it's not being synthesized, and the thyroid gland, if it is present, it could be absent or small or atrophic. The other scan is radioiodine scan, which can only be done after stopping treatment, um, which we do uh, occasionally. Um, so, generally, after three years of age, when we are not worried about mental stop the thyroid hormone and see if the child really requires it but not before three years of age. So again I would like to reiterate that congenital hypothyroidism is the commonest preventable cause of mental retardation worldwide and hence neonatal screening is crucial to 
to the development of the child mentally. Thank you.